Hello everyone, welcome back to some more Let's Play The Messenger. In the last episode, we got to the Sunken Shrine and got a new music note, the Key of Love. In today's episode, we're going to be going to the Cloud Ruins. Oops. Uh, we're going to be going to the Cloud Ruins and I'll be showing you guys a trick you can do. Um... Sorry, there's a gnat in my face, and I wish it would go away. <laughs> We're going to go into the Cloud Ruins, and then I'll be showing you guys a trick here in Glacial Peak. Hey, you're Ruxton Staff. Wow, you took your sweet time, didn't you? 500 years. You have any idea how cold it is up here? Well, I... I'll leave you here. The messenger will need you in the future, he said. 15 minutes in, I was already cold and bored. Had I known it would take you centuries to show up, I... I... Actually, I'm kind of hopeless. How are you supposed to help me? I'm not interested in wielding a necromancer weapon. I don't know. Luxon got obsessed with the Blue Robe's history. It said something about a tower he used to get to the clouds wouldn't be here anymore. So my epic contribution, after waiting for centuries in the cold, is apparently simply to beam you up and down as you please. To so the cloud ruins? Yeah, that's sure to come in handy. Can we go now? You really think I'd be sitting here if I could teleport? Only you can activate my magic. For that, you need Ruxton's amulet. I'm sensing Ruxton's power. He must be holding the amulet. Do you want to teleport to the Cloud Ruins? I'd love to get out of this cold. Yes, we would love to teleport to the Cloud Ruins. There are a couple of things for us to do there. Hey, it worked! I'll be here if you need to go back. Whoa, the view is insane! Why couldn't Ruxton leave me here instead? That's so good. Anyway, we have four, we have three power seals to grab. One is at the very end over there. But then the other two are pretty close, honestly. So let's get going. Yeah, the Cloud Ruins are amazing, honestly. I love them. Uh, wait a minute. Am I done? No, okay. Ooh! Okay, we're fine. <laughs> I almost died, dude. Holy moly. Ah! Now we're gonna live. We're fine. Okay, let's actually... Let's see if we can do any upgrades. 350 for both of these? Yes. We will do that. Alright. Now, one thing I will say is last episode, I forgot to mention it. But there was, in the background, an item... A, it looked like a like a jukebox or something that was uh, spewing something out of it, and that is actually one of the key things from uh, the shopkeeper's stories. So definitely worth your while to check it out and talk to the shopkeeper. But yeah, it's uh, it's it's one of the stories. So you can actually like in the world. There are references to the shopkeeper's stories, and they are, they're just cool. They're just really cool. I'll, and while I'm talking, when I was talking about it, I'll flash an image on screen so you guys know what the hell I'm talking about. Anyway, let's explore more of this area. I believe, yes, it's two rooms from now. It's a room where we didn't climb all the way to the top. Boom. Bam. Bam. Okay. Is it this room? It's the next room, okay. Next room. Right here somewhere. Oh my god, game. There it is. Yo, we barely made it. Alright. Power seal number one. Of three that we need to grab. It's kind of tough, so don't feel bad if you die. It's, it's a very tough power seal to grab. Alright, the next one is... 
basically right after this straight line. God, though, I wish more people had played uh, the Messenger. I mean, I know a lot of people have played it, but it'd be awesome if even more people played it. Okay. We're just gonna eat the one. Oh, it's three damage. Never mind. <laughs> We're gonna get this full heal. We'll take the three damage there for sure. <laughs> yup. Can we make that? Woo! Sound like Cape Hora Gabora. Yeah. Maybe no one gets that reference. Uh, some people might get it. I don't know. It's Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time, for those curious. Okay, so I believe I need to be going below, right? Yeah, okay. So it'll be after the next room where we go all the way around. Ooh! A button save me! It's been so long since I've done uh, all power seals. I make it sound like I, I speed ran it or something, but no, it just, it's been a while since I've done all the power seals. Okay, I believe it's in here, on this side. Son of a bitch, dude. That was really easy, actually. What the hell? That was free low. Sorry, but yeah, sorry if I just randomly will, like, blow... <laughs> uh, a gust into my microphone. It's because this damn gnat, bro. And I don't know why I have gnats in my room. Or not my room, but in the office. Because I generally keep a pretty clean office. Like, I don't have any snacks I just leave out. I mean, like, sometimes I'll leave a water cup. It's got, like, a little bit of water. But, you know, nothing like... I'm not leaving, like, my dinner in here. Like, I'll eat dinner in here sometimes, but I just, like, won't... You know what I mean? I just, I just don't, like, leave it. And I try to be clean. Maybe I just need a vacuum and... do a deep clean of everything. Uh, we're gonna do that. Ow. Cool. Yeah, maybe I just need to do a deep clean, though. I would be unsurprised if that's the... the answer. Just like a Persona 3 Reloaded DLC, brother. Did anyone ever actually play the answer? Like, the, the OG one? I feel like so few people played the OG one that <laughs> this this DLC is going to be like, Holy shit, man. That's so crazy. For a bunch of people. They can't do that, bro. But they can, and they did. Ow. Just raw. Just three raw damage there. Okay. We don't need that last little guy. I actually don't think I need to go left here either. Yeah, I've already gotten that power seal, so we don't have to go that way. Okay. <laughs> Oopsies. Didn't mean to do that. My bad. Alright. We have very little left to do in this area. It's a Phobokin and the last power seal. And then we never have to come back here again. One Phobokin and one... Actually, this might be the Phobokin. Sure is. Hey there, little Phobokin. You okay? Oh, hello there. I'm Macro. How'd you end up here? Oh, the irony, right? It's a long and unfortunate story. I should really get back to my workstation. Thanks for snapping me out of it. That is three of four. The last one will actually be... Uh, it'll come in handy that we did the Sunken Shrine first. That's all I'll say. Oh, okay. That was cool. 
there any health on any of these lanterns? No. Or as I sometimes call them, lamps. Hello? That is one thing I don't like. Uh, it's not even necessarily about the game. Oh, we, we're all the way back here. That kind of sucks. Uh, that is one thing I don't super enjoy. Is that enemies that are falling and they're on a platform. Oh, that sucks. That would have been a great, great item to have. Uh, enemies that are falling on a platform, most of the time, you will, like, glitch. Not glitch. I say glitch just because I feel like it's not intended. But glitch and whenever you wrap low hook. No, it didn't do that that time. Wow, okay. We're just going to function fully this time. You know, I know it's a rope dart. I know. I'm aware it's a rope dart. Anyway, up here we get two time shards as well as a Another power seal. Or two giant time shard deposits. As well as a power seal. Kablamo. Alright, cloud ruins are officially done. We never have to come back here again. And we cannot afford anything right now. I think the last two things are 3,000 total. Yeah. So Demon's Bane plus the Path of Resilience... He's going to be huge. 19 power seals. We're more than halfway done with power seals already, which is huge. We love that. All right, let's go back to Glacial Peak. Also, if you ever, like, leave Cloud Ruins and you're like, oh, no, I have to teleport with the Necromancer staff, don't worry. You don't actually have to do that. You'll be fine because he'll always come back here if you teleport here. So don't worry about that. Okay, I'm gonna show you guys a trick. It's a little difficult, but it's worth your while. Uh, as well as try and grab, have we got, okay, I was gonna say, there's three we haven't gotten, so there, or two we haven't gotten. There's one, two there. Okay, so we just gotta go down. That's actually perfect. So we'll probably do the rest of Glacial Peak Power Seals. Um, and then end the episode. We'll make this one a little bit longer than normal. I think that's fine. Anyway, I'm going to show you guys a trick. We already got that one. Well, actually, I should probably go this way anyway. Just to speed this along. So in this room, there is a wizard, right? When you come up here... And if you remember the trick from back on the Searing Crags, god damn it, this might work. There we go. So whenever you rope dart an enemy, if they hit you... Okay, it should have already appeared, so I guess it didn't work. Damn it. I need to jump a little bit higher so I get hit by the bullet. But whenever you rope dart an enemy, like that, there we go. Yeah, it'll actually follow you between screens. And it's not just the one screen, it is multiple. It is multiple until the enemy is dead because the game acts as if you are still attached to it. And that was really close, holy moly. But we're gonna be doing this all the way down here. And you don't have to worry about getting like too far ahead of the enemy. Because it's just going to, you know. Uh, actually, is there a power seal here? No. Okay. Oh, son of a gun. I think getting hit doesn't matter. Oh my god, we're getting cooked. Oh! I'm scared, but we're going to go this way. There you go. The enemy's right behind us. So come out here. Manfred, what happened? Hey, buddy, it's a long and embarrassing story. The Elemental Skylands are in danger. I need your help. The Elemental Skylands? Yeah, they regulate the climate in this little world of ours. If we don't take care of it soon, you'll find the demon curse to be the least of your concerns. Okay, I'll try to find some help. I'll be here. 
Sorry, I was holding off on doing that until we hit, weren't going to get hit by a fireball. Anyway, you can do that, that whole, like, glitch, and then jump over here. We're not going to free Manfred, because that's just not how you're supposed to do it. Uh, we are going to go all the way this way and slowly come down. Actually, no, we're good. Holy. I really would love... Oh my god, that's so clutch. Alright. We're gonna come over here and get the power seals. Ow. Not all power seals, but at least... Well, we're gonna get both power seals, rather. Sorry. Yeah, that little speedrun trick can help you... Um, do some, co some cool things. And it has no impact on the story, which is my favorite thing. Is there not another one? There is another one. I'm going to assume it's in the future. Because I don't remember if it's in the future or not. Ah, it is. Bam. Cool. Alright, this is a challenge. To some extent. It's not like the hardest thing ever. There we go. Alright, that is all power seals. Kablamo. Now we just drop, and we're clean. I might have died, actually. Never mind. <laughs> I meant to... I, I didn't realize that's where we were. It's okay. We're not that far behind. Not gonna make that much of a difference. We still drop down. Instead, we take our time. Come over here. Climb down to the searing crags? Yes. And then he just jumps, which is not a climb at all, but it's fine. What the? You got the power thistle. Time to prevent two dumb brothers from waiting to death. Yeah, you can see that Kolos and Susus died, unfortunately. So, next time, we're going to be exploring a little bit of the Searing Crags and helping Kolos and Susus with their soup, or stew. Stew, I think. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching today's episode of The Messenger. I'll see you next time. Goodbye!